Hello friends, in the last video we started ethylene phytohormone. We discussed about its introduction, its chemical nature, structure, then the site where it is produced or synthesized and also its physiological effects. You can refer my video, the link is given in the description box. Today we are going to discuss about ethylene biosynthesis or how biosynthesis of ethylene takes place in plant. So we know that ethylene is a major plant hormone. It influences diverse processes in plant such as growth, development and stress response. It has significant role in agriculture because it plays an important role in fruit ripening. It is produced in all higher plants and active site for its biosynthesis is meristematic regions. It is a gaseous hormone that we have discussed earlier. So it moves by diffusion from its site of synthesis to the other sites. So let us see this pathway. L-methionine is converted into S-adenosyl L-methionine, in short, SAM. In the presence of the enzyme SAM synthetase and this enzyme uses ATP. S-adenosyl L-methionine is then converted into 1-amino cyclopropane 1-carboxylic acid or in short ACC catalyzed by the enzyme ACC synthase. This 1-amino cyclopropane 1-carboxylic acid is then converted into ethylene. In the presence of the enzyme ACC oxidase or in short ACU and it uses oxygen and it also gives HCN plus CO2. In this way ethylene is produced. ACC synthase also produces 5-methyl adenosine in this step. This 5-methyl adenosine is then converted into L-methionine by methionine or Yang cycle. So in this way, methionine is replenished and the pathway goes on without taking methionine from outside. Now let us understand this ethylene biosynthesis step by step. First step, it is the conversion of L-methionine that is met into S-adenosyl L-methionine in short SAM. This step is catalyzed by SAM synthetase and this enzyme uses ATP. So this step where L-methionine is converted into S-adenosyl L-methionine or SAM in the presence of SAM synthetase, it is the first step. Now the second step, SAM is converted into 1-amino cyclopropane 1-carboxylic acid that is ACC. And this step is catalyzed by ACC synthase. It is the rate limiting step. So conversion of SAM or s adenosyl L-methionine into 1-amino cyclopropane 1-carboxylic acid in the presence of ACC synthase is the second step. It is also the rate limiting step that is the rate of biosynthesis of ethylene is determined by this step or the rate of biosynthesis of ethylene depends upon this step. Now the third or the last step that is the conversion of ACC to ethylene. This step is catalyzed by ACC oxidase or in short ACO and this enzyme uses oxygen. So this is the last or the third step where 1 amino cyclopropane 1 carboxylic acid or ACC is converted into ethylene in the presence of the enzyme ACC oxidase or in short ACO and oxygen is used in this step. Also in the last step, ACC synthase produces 5-methyl adenosine or in short MTA. This is then converted into methionine by methionine or Yang cycle and hence this cycle maintains methionine pool. So in this second step, ACC synthase also produces 5-methyl adenosine 
from S adenosyl L methionine. This 5 dash adenosine is then converted into L methionine by methionine or Yang cycle. In this way, methionine pool is maintained and the pathway continues. That is, no methionine is required from outside. Now, the inhibitors of this pathway amino ethoxyvinyl glycine and amino oxyacetic acid blocks the conversion of SAM into ACC. They block the second step conversion of S adenosyl L methionine into 1 amino cyclopropane 1 carboxylic acid in short ACC. Cobalt blocks the conversion of ACC into ethylene. So, cobalt blocks this last step that is the conversion of 1 amino cyclopropane 1 carboxylic acid or in short ACC into ethylene. This is all for today's video. In the next video, we will discuss about ethylene signaling pathway. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.